Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be answering a Patreon's question. And the question is, we've got a name tag and we want to preserve the missing holes. So we've got a missing hole in the O, G and A. There are a number of techniques that you can apply to incorporate those holes into your design. And I'm just going to go through a few of them. So let's first understand what's happening. Let's create a very simple name tag, new body and a new sketch along the XY plane. I'm going to use a centered rectangle, centering on the center point. We're dimensioning it to 75 by 35 millimeters and we'll close, take the sketch and pad that by three mil. So to add text to this face, we have to use the draft workbench and make sure our grid in is on. Now my grid is already set to the top of this face. So I know my working plane is along this way. Let's just reset the working plane, come over to utilities and let's make sure nothing's selected. So we know how to select the plane. Let's say our working plane was something like this. So when we create text, it's going to go across this plane. We want it to go across here. So we select the face, come up to utilities and then select plane. That places it upon there and our snapping is selected. So we create a shape string or draft in shape from text. Our font file we can select and I'm in C Windows fonts. This can be set as default in your settings. So there's a settings entry in there. So you can set the default font. We go into this directory. It saves a bit of time. Go for Arial Bold for this one. Let's open that up. So we've got our font. As we move about, we can see the X, Y, and Z changes. And my snapping is on. I want snap center. And if I hover over, you can see I'm snapping to the center point there on that face. If I click, what happens now, the X, Y, and Z doesn't change. You notice the Z is three millimeters. So let's place it upon that face. It's not attached it. It's just placed it. So this is going to place your text rather than attach it. The height, I'm just going to set to 12 millimeters and the string, let's just use something which is gonna cause a problem. So mango, there we go and hit okay. So my string has been added. I can use the move to move this string if I wanted to but I'm just going to right click to cancel and let's close that because the center point's there. Let's come down and have a look at the justification. Go bottom left, go for the middle center and maybe increase this a bit. Try 14, there we go. Go back to the part design. So we have the shape string and I can pad this or pocket it. The problem happens is when we pocket it and you notice that's because the shape string is outside the body. Let's place that inside the body. So it's all in the body container. Now I can select the shape string and use a pocket. And because we're going all the way through the center of the O, the G and the A are missing. So let's just okay that. What's happening is because there's nothing to hold that, it's just removed it. And you can see that if you click on the body, come down to allow compound and set this to true. This means that it allows for multiple solids. Click off, you get these back. So this is a solid. And these are a solid. So this is a compound object at the moment. If we printed this on a 3D printer, then we'll end up with the outside and the inside. So if you wanted something like this, there are a couple of options. We could flip around to the back and create some tabs. So I can create a sketch upon this face. Create a sketch. And in all one sketch, it's upside down, but that's fine. Flip it around if we wanted to. We'll just use 
a rectangle and just add something like this to keep these in place. You can do it all in one sketch. Obviously you can be a lot neater than this. And it's just to bridge the gap to keep this in position. And we could put some vertical constraints in there. That's let the tool and just add those in there. That keeps them the same size as well. I can see those moving out. You put some equal constraints against all of these, all these lines if you want to do. And this will end up allowing for us, let's just close that and just show what happens. So this allows for us to use a pad against that sketch. It's going to pad this way. If we use the reverse, that pads inwards, and we can change this to something like three millimeters if we want to go all the way through and out the other side, which might be the effect you want, or we could change this lower so we get something like this. So we're connected at the back, but we're still pocketing away to a certain depth. Another option, let's cancel out that and get rid of that sketch, that pocket, leaving the shape string. And what we'll do is we could take the shape string and pocket that, but not go all the way through. So let's go to something like four millimeters and hit OK. Actually, not four millimeters because this is three millimeters. Let's go to two mil and hit OK. And then we could select these faces then pocket those faces all the way through and hit OK. So we can have that kind of effect if we wanted to. So control select all the faces and then use a pocket against those. Other options if you like the support way of doing things and that's pocket that all the way through. Let's just go for that for the time being. And we've got the allow compound equals true on there. So we've made a compound object. That means it has multiple solids within. We could rather than just doing tabs on here, we could say create sketch upon here and then say add some circles. So rather than tabs, we could place some circles and line those up right click to cancel and let's pull in some geometry so you pull in I know that's the center point there and you can see the center point that O come through center point the G you can see it there and let's say there as well that's projected it forwards we've got those right click to cancel look at the front and zoom in and we can line up these circles with that point, same with this one. Should have picked the tool first because I've been able to keep that active then. Take them all, make those equal. Can add some constraints in here to keep these in line, or we could add some symmetry constraints. Also add some dimensions. So I've got those there and then we pad reverse. And we could go through, say all the way through to the other side. Something like that, if you fancy something like that. So there are a number of ways of doing this. But first things first, you come into the body the allow compound is set to true. So you can see where those holes are gone and then you can tackle them in various ways.
So I hope that's helped with the question and I hope to see you in the next video. If you like what you've seen and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0 or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos. And I hope to see you again in the next one.